YouTube beauties and bows. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is Beauty Fat and we're about to do a hair and makeup transformation for women over 40. Today's look is featuring the Fake Scalp Unit by Dola Hair Mall as well as BoxyCharm's Violet Voss Essentials Palette and the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette. So please stay tuned. All right, so this is a unit that I've already done a review on. If you are interested in the full review, just look down in the description box and click on the link that says first review. Um, this is Dola Hair Mall's Fake Scalp Wig 2.0. And again, just look down in the description box to see the full review on the unit. I really do like this unit. That's why I chose to use it again for a transformation look. It's pretty easy to install. It's there isn't a whole lot that you have to do to adhere the unit down. I'm not going to talk through the entire video, but I will step in to let you know um, a few of the products that I'm using. I use that stick in every single video just about for wig reviews. So. And there's a link down in the description box if you're interested in where I got that wax stick. This spray that I'm using is by L'Oreal Paris. It's called Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. It's a three day sleek um, up to 450 degrees protection spray. So if you're interested in it, it'll also be down in the description box. Now the straightener I'm using, I got this flat iron from Walmart. It's called the Inferno Con Air Flattener. So if you're interested in it, there is also a link for it down in the description box as well. My hot comb actually came from Amazon. Um, I have to look for the name of it, hold on. Okay, it is actually just called Professional for All Hair Types Hair Press Comb. So I'll just put the link down in the description box with everything else. The serum that I put on my face is from my BoxyCharm box. It's by Kate Somerville. It is the Biomimicking Peptide Serum. Then I'm just going to begin my brows with a light brown pencil by NK Makeup. It's just an eyeliner. And then I go back over the tail end of it with a black eyeliner. Of course, I try to um, blend it out and fade it with my spoolie. Then I clean it up with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The foundation that I use is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. It is in the color 335. It's called Classic Tan or Bronze Classic. Um, I use this just about every single time I do my makeup. And then I go back and highlight under my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape again. And if you're interested in any specifics, there's a link for it down in the description box. Previously, I've been using my BoxyCharm um, face powder to do this part, but I'm going old school today and I'm using the Ben I Banana Powder. I happen to like it. It doesn't leave the flash like the other powder does. Now anyone that has watched me do makeup before, I'm pretty sure you've recognized I never ever ever do my makeup the same way twice. So please don't think I have a routine because I definitely don't. So the first eyeshadow you saw me use was a product out of my crown palette by BoxyCharm. It was actually a very light brown and then I went back with like a medium brown. Um, it doesn't have the name of the, pro the colors in this palette so I'm not able to tell you what those colors are. But then I went back with a darker brown for the end of it to give it even more definition. 
um, and for my um, cut crease I am using my NYX concealer it's in the color CJ04 and called beige um, I'm using this one this time instead of my shape tape because it's a lot more movable than the shape tape So to do my pretty and pink look, I am using the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette, and this color is called Maui, M-A-U-I. It is a very sheer, glimmery pink color, um, so I'm just going to put this in the inner corners of my eyelids. The next color up is out of my Violet Voss Essentials palette and this color is just called pink. It's a darker shimmery pink um, out of the Violet Voss palette that I got out of my BoxyCharm box. I'm just going to use this to create more definition um, so that pink can pop a little bit more. Then I went back in with that darker brown that I got out of the um, Crown Pro palette um, just to ensure that everything is blended well together. This is my e.l.f. liquid liner. You have to be careful with liquid liner, but I'm not good with the gel liner. For some reason, I can never get any of the gel liners that I have purchased to show up as well as I can with the liquid liners. But I've been using liquid liner for so long, I've kind of gotten used to applying it without getting it all over the place. And I didn't want a thick line, I just needed a line to help mask my lash line. My problem with um, doing wings is I can never do the left side as easy as I can do the right side but for some reason for this video I did okay the mascara that I'm using also came out of my boxycharm box this is the Tracee Mascara. It's called Good Vibes Mascara in the color black. I really like it because it applies so easily. And these lashes are ruby lashes. Um, it does not tell me what style these are, so I'm not able to give you that information. But I've had these lashes for so long, I couldn't tell you where I even got them from. And then I'm taking one of my brushes and I'm just dusting away all of that powder um, so I can sculpt my nose and my cheeks. What I'm using to sculpt with is a product by Colormates. It's, a, it's called Chocolate and it's just a foundation stick. And now I'm just going to blend all of that out. People have told me about skipping so many steps when I'm applying makeup. I only do that because I'm trying not to make such a long video. Um, so I apologize if um, the videos you've, you've watched previously just skip so many steps. But I just try not to make the video too long to watch. But um, for this video, I'm trying not to skip any steps so you can see everything that I do when I apply my makeup. Just keep in mind that I actually don't have a makeup routine, so I never apply my makeup the same way twice. Now this lip liner that I'm using is actually a brown brow pencil by LA Colors, and the lippy is by Truly Cosmetics. It is a hot pink, and, and the number is 39, but I'm not sure what the actual name of it is. But I'm just going to take my time and try to blend this out and get it to look the way that I want it to. So that actually didn't turn out to be the shade that I wanted it to look. So I ended up going back over it with a High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss by LA Colors. It is in the color CLG933 by Baby Cakes and I just got this from Family Dollar. And once I got through with my lips, I went ahead and applied some black eyeliner and then went back with that shimmery pink and put it underneath my eyes. 
and that is the Trace Teague Mascara that I am applying to my bottom lashes. So I really didn't want to use a highlighter because I didn't want it to be bright. So I used an eyeshadow out of my Violet Voss Essentials palette in the color cream. All right, so we're just gonna brush this hair out, make sure that it's all straightened in place. And here is my final look. ladies and gents so that's it for today's video if you like my video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit that like button thank you so much for sharing tonight with me i hope to see you guys in the next video have a good night guys Mwah.